Today I want to talk about energy. I want to talk about how important energy is in your life, especially as an entrepreneur. So this morning I walked into this studio. This is a studio by the way, if you haven't seen it. Um, that's, that's where I record a lot of the content. You can't see so much into it maybe, but it's uh, the content studio and then we have some open space here. I'm sharing this with a friend. And we, yeah, we love it here. Um, and so yesterday I went for dinner with one of my clients. He flew over uh, from Germany. Uh, he's a great guy. And uh, we had dinner. We shared a bottle of wine. We had a beer. It's pretty much it. Not, not that much. I don't drink a lot of alcohol these days because I want to have great energy. And anyway, so I came into the office. Um, I woke up at 7, was in here at 8.30, feeling a little bit drained. I'm over it now. You could probably even see that I just woke up. Uh, but anyways, um, I want to talk about energy because it's hugely important uh, when it comes to your career. And not just the fact that you have energy to go through the day, that's kind of basic requirement, but I want to talk about it from the point of view of being an entrepreneur. I think it's pretty similar to being an athlete in many ways. Your belief, your energy has to overpower all the, the doubt um, all the, the sort of inner dialogue that you might have because as entrepreneurs, as much as you know, athletes would have the same odds against them, we're trying to beat the odds. We might have people around us that don't believe in what we're doing, that think we're slightly crazy. I know I do. And therefore, we have to overpower their energy, their belief with who we are, we have to generate that energy, right? I think it's the foundation for everything. So how do you generate that energy? Well, I think some of us are, are lucky to just have a innate, like strong energy. And I think, you know, if you're that kind of person, great. I think um, if you don't, then, you know, probably you have to create some routines that will help you generate that energy. And uh, there, are, there are certain things that are physical, and there are certain things that are clearly just psychological. And I think the best way to do it, in my experience, is to practice both, is to have a morning routine where you try to move your body uh, in the morning if you can, uh, whether it's a short walk or we go to the gym or you do yoga, whatever it is that works for you. Moving as the sort of first thing in the morning is just great for your energy. And the other piece um, is meditation, visualization, getting into a state uh, which essentially means getting into an energy field, a frequency, if you will. And when you are in a certain energy coming from the, you know, the physical exercise, maybe combined with mental exercise, uh, you put yourself in a state energy that will allow you to make better decisions, to have more creativity, and to really, you know, live that entrepreneurial spirit. Because I think, and this is something that is not talked about so much, but if you have low energy, you're going to make uh, mediocre decisions. You're not gonna believe in the future that you wanna create. If you're somebody creating something that most people around you don't believe in, you're gonna need to have more energy and belief to overpower their doubt. The same as when you're selling your services, you have to be the one who believes the most so that you radiate the belief in what you're doing. And especially, you know, if you're trying to do something which is, haven't, you know, haven't been done before, you have a big vision of something you wanna do, you have to be able to step into this energy where, you know, you just, you just see and connect with the future that you're creating. That future vision is pulling you rather than the past, you know, uh, trying to pull you back into the person you've been before or maybe some of the, the things that haven't worked out. I think it's almost like you have the past, the, the power of the past and the power of the future. It's almost like two rubber bands and you're in the middle and they're both trying to, to you know, draw you in one direction. And it's only when you program your mind to, to get into these daily habits where you're connecting with the future, where you are feeling 
um, the emotion ahead of the experience. In other words, you are already the person you want to be. You're already grateful for the success that you want to have. You see your company is already built. People, you know, people's lives changing uh, as a consequence of what you're doing. These are the things you have to be thinking about every day. Now, this is also the reason why it's so great to be in an environment where there are like-minded people who have this energy of entrepreneurship. I think there is a special energy about entrepreneurs and about entrepreneurship that other people just don't get and they don't have it. Because we entrepreneurs are a different breed. And that's why one of the best things you can do is to join a group, a mastermind or a peer-to-peer -peer group or any place or just some friends that share this energy, that are excited about the future, who are building something that they are excited about. And this is, of course, why these masterminds work so well. I remember, for example, being part of this 55K a year mastermind and I, you know, it's, it's a lot of money to invest in a mastermind and so forth. But I remember just, just in the first couple of weeks, seeing people do what I didn't know was practically possible. I saw them do things. I learned about this concept of consulting for equity. And um, this was also had to do with M&A, making deals, etc. And I saw people do things that I did not believe that was doable. These were people that were younger than me. I didn't even think they were necessarily as experienced as I was. And I'm like, if these guys can do it, certainly I can do it too. And again, this is really the point with these groups. And so unless you're in one, you need to get in one. And Original Minds is such an environment. That's what we're building for. We're really cultivating this energy as the foundation for everything. It's this entrepreneurial spirit. We want people to be able to come into an environment of like-minded people who are excited, who are going places, and we leave those negative people that we all have in our lives behind. And you can share, you can be vulnerable, uh, you know, if you have a team, it's lonely out there. If you're by yourself, it's even lonelier. But even if you're running a team, I remember, you know, having 20 employees uh, at my company, my brand consultancy. I mean, I, there's no way I'm going to go to them and say, hey, how am I going to meet, you know, payroll this week? How am I going to, you know, I don't, I don't like this one person. I should probably fire him or her. These are not things you're discussing with anyone. So getting around people is just a, it's a fantastic way to elevate your energy. So, but the point I really wanted to speak about this morning where I was feeling low energy and now as I'm talking about it, I get more energized. Essentially just whatever it is that works for you, think about this consciously. How do I put myself in the most powerful state or energy every day? How do I stay in that energy for as long as possible? Because when you are in that energy where you are pulled by the vision of a greater future, that's when you make your best work, that's when you are the most creative, you're in a state of creation, you are in a state where things are possible, you're connected to possibility, to, to potential. When you are drawn by the past, maybe by the problems, you go around thinking about problems, that's not where you are in a state where you create <clears throat> the future that you want to have. Hopefully that makes sense. And if you're interested in joining the Rigid Minds Mastermind Groups, Accelerator, anything, hit the links, uh, contact me, and let's talk about it. Hopefully you got some value out of this, and I'll be back with more videos. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you engage, and uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Take care.